Running into Google's anti-gravity rate limits? Let's talk about how to get around them. So if you're a developer on Google's anti-gravity, you've probably noticed the usage quotas are tight. Yeah, even folks paying for AI Pro are hitting that wall after just a few prompts. Super frustrating. But don't worry, the good news is there are a few smart ways to handle this. Okay, we're gonna cover three main strategies to make your anti-gravity usage way more efficient. All right, strategy one. It's all about choosing the right AI agent to save that precious quota. The easiest thing you can do? Just move most of your day-to-day -day work over to Gemini Low. See, the high model uses these thinking tokens that really chew through your limit during deep thinking. Here's a pro tip. Only bring out the high model after the low model has failed a task, say, three times. Okay, let's jump into strategy number two. This one's about prioritizing autonomous tasks. Basically, to conserve your quota, you'll want to shift from live coding to delegating bigger jobs. Think of it like this. You become an architect, just orchestrating work in the background. It's pretty cool. And this is where artifacts come in, to these verifiable outputs generated by an agent. This creates a feedback loop, so you can guide the agent without a full token-wasting restart. And for our last strategy, it's all about using the right tool for the job. Simple as that. Anti-gravity actually gives you access to a few different AIs. You just gotta use them where they shine. And hey, don't forget to offload anything that doesn't need anti-gravity special skills to your local machine. All right, let's wrap this up with the key takeaways. So use the low model, delegate big jobs, pick the right AI and offload work. That's it.